Hey, this is Peter from Nexton Web. In this video, I'm going to show you how to align your layers and create space around them. First, I'll show you the horizontal alignment options. The way horizontal align works in Smart Slider is that the alignment is inherited from the parent layer. I will show you an example by changing the inner align on the content layer. As you can see, all layers move from center to left inside the content layer. Changing the inner align on a parent only affects those child layers where the inner align or text align is set to inherit, which is the default value for all layers. You can find the inner align setting on the rows and columns as well. As the inner align is inherited by the row, changing it on the content layer affects the layers inside the row. I will change the inner align on the row to center, and as you can see the layers inside are not left aligned anymore. I can select any column and override the inner align it inherits from the row. I've set the inner align to right, so now the row setting does not apply to the layers inside this column. The next thing I want to show you is how to align a text on a layer. Textual layers, such as the heading layer, have a text align option. As other aligns, by default the text align is inherited. This means that the closest parent decides the alignment of the layer. Let's change the text align to center. Now use the maximum width option to limit the size of the heading. As you can see, the layer is on the left side because that's the align it inherits from its parent. Layers have an align option which can be used to align the layer inside its container, and I will change it to center for this heading. Let's go back to the content layer and see how its inner align affects our current layout. As you can see, only those layers moved which inherit their alignment from the content layer. Vertical align is useful when you want your layer at the top or bottom of its parent. You can find this option on the content layer and the columns. Let's align the layers to the bottom. Columns are as high as the content inside them, so the vertical align might not be visible. Turn on the stretch on the row to make it fill the available vertical space. Now there's enough space to adjust the vertical align of the column. Let's undo this. Speaking of the stretch option, you can use it to create super cool layouts. For example, it lets you put the row to the bottom and keep the text in the middle where they are now. First, you should create a new row and simply move the layers into it. Then select this new row and turn on the stretch option. It makes the top row fill the available vertical space, so its content can be in the middle of the slide. There are many ways to create space around your layers. The first is the padding, which you can find on the slide, content, row and column layers. Add padding to the slide to avoid that the layers overlap the arrows or bullets. Use the shift button to set both sides at the same time. In the editor, a blue area marks the padding or margin on the active layer. On the not active layers, a gray area shows the spacing, like the margin around this button. Margins are what you can use to create distance between your layers. They can be positive, which creates more distance, or negative, which reduces it. Negative margin is marked with a red area. To create space between the columns of the row, you can use the gutter. It is located on the Content tab of the row. These are the alignment and spacing options in Smart Slider. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.